Welcome back to the deformed foot that is the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And while we did win against Prussia and we took Eastern Prussia over here, what we still have to do is try to save France somehow from itself and being crushed but completely by the European colonies or whatever they call it. And, well, basically itself. And I, I, honestly, if France had been a little bit em better, or the French Empire rather, I mean, look at the amount of people they do have. Sure, this is mostly Napoleonic Spain, but there's still numerous French forces over here. And, I mean, this army, for example, 54,000 men, 78, 57. A lot of these armies that are scattered around here and that have managed to kind of break through are very, very small. They, still, they could clean up all of this by just going a bit faster or better. So I don't know why they're not doing that. And uh, now with the war here, we have this army is a bit murdered, let's just say. So we will disband their army mostly and then try to hopefully have it regenerate. What we will need now, because this is 7, this is 21,000 men. So what we will need is basically 4 of these, 2 of these and uh, 1 of these. It should be, actually that becomes 42,000 men, so we should maybe get rid of... What will we get rid of? We will get rid of one artillery. So we will have four infantry. One artillery. Actually, we will get rid of one infantry and get, add one more artillery. There we go. That should be fine. Egypt we can bump up now to have friendly with. Wonderful. Soon enough. Soon enough, Egypt. You will give me the Suez. Do we have everything for the Suez anyway? Uh, we could sign the Geneva Convention. That would give get rid of one infamy. So, yeah, sure. Found the International African Association. Seems fairly relevant to us at the moment. We need nitroglycerin and we need iron steamers. Hmm, nitroglycerin. We should probably get that. We have a new wave of, of technologies here, so analytic philosophy should probably have been our first choice, but eh, we will, we will catch up. Definitely. North German Patriots, I don't like you, and I kind of want to dismantle them. But... What is this? Conservative Party rocked by scandal. That's not good. So I assume that now this, the original scandal for Africa will or scramble, not scamble, will start. I wonder who will win. It doesn't seem like anyone is really prepared for it, except for the Reino Unidado, or <laughs> Unido. And uh, I suppose South Africa could feasibly expand quite a bit, if they want to. We even have another of these guys, so perhaps getting another capitalist to get going. Actually, maybe we should stop with the capitalists now and focus on something else. Perhaps we should upgrade our factories that we can upgrade. I mean, by now the, the capitalists should be numerous enough to not need any more assistance. So we will start making more craftsmen instead. Where is Western Prussia? Is over here. Eastern Prussia is actually a sizable addition to our country. Plus, most of them... In, for example, Königsberg, we can take a look at it, actually. They should be uh, fairly well literacy, 100%. Yeah. A lot of them can read, which is good. So they won't negatively impact our literacy rating. Probably they, would, they have increased it. I didn't actually try to check there before. Before we conquered Königsberg and Eastern Prussia, if our literacy percentage increased or not. But assume it would. I mean, it's, uh, it's former Prussian areas. And the Prussians were quite effective in, at, in certain ways. Plus, kind of is precious metals, and that's always good. Getting some precious metal here. Uh, but maybe now, just to get our money back up, some more tariffs is at hand. So what has happened now is that the Netherlands, Wallonia, and a whole lot of small... German nations here, including Oldenburg and Hamburg and Bremen and whatnot, as well as Sardinia, Piedmont and Catalonia has become freed from France and France now is a presidential dictatorship. So the mighty, mighty nation that was France, our ally that was France, the biggest, most powerful nation on earth is no more. 
it has ceased to exist in the form that it was before. And that is a very dangerous situation for us. We were relying on that major nation to actually protect us against enemies of various kinds. But now, like, I would... <laughs> it's not only been cut down in size, it's ceased to be completely. And that's pretty impressive, considering it was so strong and then it's kind of vaporized. So who will be our friend now? I mean, the presidential dictatorship France doesn't really care for us. Russia doesn't really care for us. Prussia certainly doesn't care for us, nor does Austria. The Rheinbund is pretty mad. Kingdom of Italy is pretty mad. British Union is pretty mad. I like that Napoleonic Spain is still there without having, well, Napoleon. Uh, or, I suppose, well, at least they have the descendants of it. Ottoman Empire is not very happy with us. Only Sweden likes us. So we are alone now with only Sweden to help us. So that's not good. That could have gone better for our side. But at least France gave us uh, the territory. So I suppose we will have to be happy for that. So let's open some factories. At least in Ostpreussen, see what happens. There we go. Any projects that we can help out with? It definitely is. All these railroads are not being built by themselves. We need to help out with funding them. After all, we get a lot more money than the capitalists could ever do. I wonder what do they get their money anyway. What do they have to invest on to get a profit from? The Eastern Question. The Ost oh, so the here is the event I was talking about last episode. The Ottoman Empire has been in slow decline for much of the last century. Okay. We will host the Congress. Wonderful. The Congress will be hosted in Warsaw or perhaps Krakow. Hopefully in Warsaw. Warsaw has really become the center of our kingdom. What are we even? We're a constitutional monarchy. So yeah, we could call it the kingdom. Or commonwealth. What did happen in Australia? Who won? Imperial Oceania. Yeah. Wait. The British Empire kind of completely annexed it. I did not see that one coming. But I should have. So here we have Netherlands, and they have now gained back the Netherlands over here. So it's the same country. Which makes sense. Hmm. Rheinbund is in great peril. Planning for the Congress. Now that plans for the Congress in Warsaw are underway, Polish Lithuanian statesmen are busy trying to determine what our stance on the issue should be. Some feel we should favor keeping the Ottoman Empire strong in the interest of preventing the Russians from expanding into the Middle East. This could potentially improve our relations with the Ottomans as well. Others believe stability in the Balkans should be the priority, even though the, this might come at the expense of the Ottomans and our relationship with them. Stability in the Ottomans is too important. We need allies also from the south of the Balkans to help against Austria. So that's our major reason for going for that to begin with. The Cyprus Convention. An idea has arisen. Oh, so this is the Cyprus thing? Yeah, definitely. We will uh, we will go for Cyprus. Give us Cyprus. That will help. Makes no sense, but it will help. Actually, what also will help is if all these armies were to go and kill all the rebels that, uh, you know, come up in the world. So this one has... Essentially everything. Yep, it does. So does all our armies have everything. We just need to have more armies. Okay, so we got that done. We also needed what exactly? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Build the Suez Canal. Iron steamers. We can get iron steamers real quick. We are sacrificing analytic philosophy for a while until we can, can get that. But it will be worth it. I promise. It will be worth it. Sicily is under the British Union. Naples is under someone. And this war is just never ending. The Austria-German Brothers War. Though the British Union is raising the stakes here, cutting the Rheinbund down to size and humiliating them. Which, well, that cost them a lot of infamy as well. And now the British Union is actually the greatest power in the universe. After the fall of France, or the French Empire, more, just, more to the point. 
The Allied, oh, the Allied Brazil. An interesting choice. There we go. Increase our factories wherever we can. And getting all the railroads we can transport our products to Gdansk. I mean, we were at war with Reinbund at one point, but not anymore. I'm just wondering if France will take this, the same center stage in the, in the world as they did before, or in the past. Switzerland. Uh, I mean, you could be helpful against Austria. What could also be helpful is if these guys would help. Apparently they don't like us very much. That's a long name. Matabele Bekunaland Concession. Ah, Colonial Wars. Speaking of Colonial, how is it going? Futayo Jalon is actually pretty big. Ah, Paris Conference. So I suppose now it is available to colonize with the Paris Conference. So when, or when does it start? Is it at 1880? Could be. I don't know if this mod changes anything. I mean, South Africa is trying to grow a little bit. Which you can always respect. Maybe now they will want to have an alliance. No, but soon. If we improve our relations a little bit more, we'll have an alliance with them. Serbia, we need you. We need friends, honestly. We ha only have Sweden and now Switzerland. So if we could get Serbia on our side, that would be helpful. They will accept. Wonderful. Yay! We are friends now with Serbia. Acquisition of Tsarist Warsanga. What the hell? Are they... Well, that's interesting. Okay. The sale of Assab. A Polish Lithuanian shipping company has come into ownership of the Red Sea port of Assab. Hmm. I mean, sure. Sure. I mean, now we have Polish Lithuanian Eritrea. This is unexpected. And Ger North German Patriots, that's less unexpected. We will have to deal. There's actually quite a lot. We have a lot of North German Patriot areas, which is bothersome. Hopefully we just kind of smashed Prussia now for, for ages to come. They shouldn't have anything to say. We could actually go to war with them fairly soon. They have no allies or anything like that. But we won't. We won't. Not for a little bit more at least. Okay, we will increase tariffs by now to 65. We need money. We need money. We we'll love it. We love money. And it doesn't help that we have this uh, liberal government that cuts us off from taxes. So we will, well, we will deal. I wonder what will happen with the Ottoman Empire in uh, the future conference here in Warsaw. Perhaps they will be cut up into small pieces. Perhaps they won't. We'll see. It's almost a bit uh, prob <laughs> blah, blah, blah. problematic that we got areas down here in, in Egypt. We don't really need them to begin with. And uh, we can't really defend them. We don't, uh, we don't really have any... Any fleets? We have no fleet, in fact. We could get a little bit of a fleet, but it will be a little fleet. Wouldn't really be useful. We couldn't really defend against, for example, France if we came into conflict with them. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's interesting, though, here with the Rheinbund and everything, how it's going. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Will the Rheinland be able to unify Germany at long last? The Mud March? Why? Okay. Apparently they walked through mud in Warsaw. For what re reason, I do not know, because we are as liberal as we can be with all the political reforms being unlocked. The one I think I want to restrict is to child labor, but I can't right now. Ironically, because the, the liberals are against it. At least most of the liberals are against it. 
Oh, didn't know the liberals were so pro having... Oh, now we have um, laissez-faire. That is um, fine, I guess. But why are people so mad? Seriously, why are you so mad? Militant socialist. I get that you're not getting what you want. But this is, I mean, this is democracy, after all. We need, you need to have the majority of the people behind you. Unless you want to make a revolt, which is probably what you want to do anyway. Austria, you actually lost support now. You only have Naples on your side. Yet I want to kill you. Come on, North German f patriots. Can we just kill all the North Germans? This is a horrible thing to say, but... Otherwise, they're just going to rebel and rebel and rebel and rebel until the end of times. It was also a minor rebellion compared to the other ones, but still. Uh, Polish, Lithuania, Red Star. I mean, these, these are essential. This is actually the rich, okay. I guess get for the poor done. There we go. We can finally push through some reform. What do you want? You want a minimum wage movement? Well, I want low health care. How about that instead? Can you calm down now, people? Movements? Can you calm down? There we go. Dismantle your strength. Lower your shields and surrender your ship. As the Borg would say. It's not, you know, surprisingly ineffective. I suppose we'll have to push through another or another policy soon enough. I take the free prestige of our useless cousin's belly. I used to, oh, if we could get Kingdom of Italy on our side, that would be good in a coming conflict. Or rather, if Serbia could grow a little bit, that would be even better. If the whole Ottoman Empire thing could just finally be done with, so we knew whether or not the Ottoman Empire will be carved up or if they will be strong. I hope our my fellow great powers voted like me. For a fractured, stable Balkans. Or more stable Balkans, I guess. And on, in Ireland, the first international has appeared. And not in the British Empire part of Ireland either. There we go. Congress of Warsaw. Stabilize the Balkans. We got a lot of prestige for being the leaders of this. The Ottoman Empire defies the Congress. Well, that's not really nice of them. They defy the Congress. What the hell? Am I supposed to alone fight against them? What happened to my fellow Congress members? Free Balkans. We could fight for it. But uh, we'll let the other ones fight for us. It's no big deal. I don't really care too much. Would be nice for Serbia, but if I had to commit soldiers to it? No, no way. We got the um, prestige from it. We're a bit safer now on our, on our side. We're close to being able to put out another army. Not close enough though, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting, we're getting to the point. We'll probably speed up a bit of time to get analytic philosophy a bit quicker. There we go, analytical philosophy. Another month or so and you should be fine. There we go. Research points 100%. So now we can go for naturalism and imperialism to finally get the Casus Belli against Galicia Lodomeria, or, well, rather, Austria. To swallow them up. I like that Flanders went to Netherlands. Somehow, it looks very strange, doesn't it? The Rheinbund wants an alliance. Well, 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 what do we have here? Rheinbund, you've become my friend now. Build the Suez Canal, wonderful. We can actually do it. And we will allocate a lot of money to it. So it's going to take a while. It seems like this mod is, is built upon HPM. Considering a lot of the events and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, doesn't Netherlands look a bit weird compared to the normal Netherlands? At the same time, it kind of also looks right. In that Flandern is now part of, of the Netherlands. But what would I know? I'm not Dutch. Hmm... Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. 
Austria, Austria, Austria. You will fall, Mr. Austria. We will crush you. We will crush you when we got nationalism and imperialism, and we can pull the event. And then we can declare war. You're up for the taking. Except now you're allied with France. Crap. On a stick. A very small stick, perhaps. Or a big one. Could also work. Plus, our allied Rheinbund, sure, they are pretty strong, but they're strong industrially. They're not really strong anywhere else. Now they have also Prussia under their spheres, so no matter... And, oh, come on. Everyone is just aligning in our worst interest. The Russian Empire has assumed their alliance with Prussia. Austria has allied France and also put Prussia under their sphere. So if I clear up war on Prussia, which would be the worst outcome, I would be at war with Austria and Russia at the same time. Meanwhile, if I declare war on Austria, I would also have to fight France. And France is the second most powerful nation in the world. Sure, not militarily speaking, but... Uh, it's... Um... It's not a good position to be in for a little poor Polish Lithuania because we have only three directions to expand. We have expanded quite a lot on, well, basically on Prussia's behalf. Oh no, no, not a Poniatowski is dead. We haven't really expanded on Austria's uh, expense and we haven't really expanded in the general direction of the Russian Empire. But that will come, that will happen. So now with nationalism and imperialism done, we will have an event to go for Silesian lands and everything like that. Oh my. Inherit Egypt? Well, that's, there we go. Polish Lithuanian in Egypt. It's kind of swallowed. We have Polish Lithuanian in Egypt. We can go for course on all of these nations. Good, let's go for it. Let's go for course here. And course over here. So now we have uh, Galician lands and everything like that. So we have cores on these territories, on these territories, which will make them harder for them to, to take over, I suppose. And we can add in Brest, a guy who makes more craftsmen. Which is wonderful. And uh, we can pull through another reform here. What do people want? What do they crave? Minimum wage movement. Let's go for it. Hopefully we can watch now as the movement kind of disband and lose power, lose steam. Oh, not the Egyptian nationalists though. Holy shit. Holy crap. Okay, we need to do something over here. In Cairo, we will mo mobilize our African army. Or at least create one. And that will be fine, I suppose. Uh, there we go. One army done. Let's start with that. We just need to have some men to protect ourselves. Assembly line, steel railroad would be pretty decent, but we also need uh, military tech to keep up in the game. So yeah, I think this is our... I mean, it's been going pretty good. I gotta admit, it's been going pretty darn well. Sure, we haven't really done a lot of war in, in this episode, but we did manage to take Egypt randomly and we have the Suez and even if we lose Egypt we will keep the Suez hopefully and now we have to build troops all along the Nile Delta and the stuff like that to prevent I mean we have to prevent this um, Egyptian nationalist from taking over power number of possible brigades 188 so yeah we we, we are going to have some tr trouble here in Polish Lithuanian Egypt Anyway, this has been an uh, episode, <laughs> that was probably the, the most general thing you could ever say, oh, this has been an episode. No, but this has been another episode in the polish Lithuanian Commonwealth campaign in Victoria 2, playing as uh, Napoleon's Legacy. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.